Hey, what's going on, guys? I hope you're all doing well. It's the FPL Penguin here. And it's been a while, probably just over a week, since I've made my last FPL video on this channel. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and please subscribe. We do appreciate it. Love to get uh, 100, 100 subscribers, that's the target, before the 9th of August, which is the first game of the new Premier League season. That's next Friday. Um, so I, I'd, I'd love to get there, you know, and really appreciate your help and all the likes and subscribes and nice comments and I've been getting. Really appreciate the support. So let's get straight into this video. Right, to start off, to explain what I'm doing here with my team, this must be bloody hell, draft 300 and something. Oh, just let you know as well before I go straight into this as well. Um, I was on Elite FPL um, YouTube channel last night. Uh, was it last night? Yeah, it was last night. On the live stream, if you haven't checked that out, please check it out. It's uh, last night's video. Um, I think I'm on, I appear at one minute, uh, th no, one hour, three minutes and ten seconds. So check it out over there. Please get a thumbs up as well, that video, and uh, share it as well. And please subscribe to the Elite FPL. Great guys, uh, really friendly, do a great job, deserve the amount of subscribers they've got. They are a great, great YouTube channel, really are. And uh, really help people like myself with our FPL teams. Um, so let's go straight into this. As you can see, I changed it quite a bit. I've gone for, I've taken Robertson out and put in Wan Pasaka. I see Manchester United being a strong team, most in defence. With the sign Maguire, they're going to be solid. I think. You know, signing Wan Pasaka. I've seen him in action. He's very good defensive right back. Good tackler and. I feel like that's going to help him a lot in that right back position. So if they sign Maguire as well, which is looking maybe likely, he could be signing for them. Um, it would be solid at the back. So I'm going for Wan Bissaka at the back instead of Robbo. Edison in goal. As I say, it's all going to be about Liverpool and City with the most clean sheets again, once again this season. So I'll put him in goal. Zinchenko, I'm keeping him. Good budget left back defender in FPL. He's going to get regular starts, and I do think with Mendy out until the end of August, when Mendy will come back at the end of August from that injury, I do still think Zinchenko will cement that place as City's regular starting left-back. Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. I think um, he's going to do well. I love to have him in Robbo, but I just can't fit Robbo in. And If I had to pick, I'd, I'd pick Trent. I don't know why, but I just picked Trent. I've uh, got a midfield, I've got Sterling, we'll get to uh, Sabellos, Cabellos, or whatever you pronounce his name. New signing for Arsenal. Salah there as well as captain Perez, more attacking and hearing with Perez from what I heard um, also, also from um, last night's stream on Elite FPL. That Perez, well Leicester could be playing a 4-4-2 with Bardi and Perez in a striking uh, partnership up front, both as strikers, so that's quite interesting. Uh, put Lucas Moura in instead of Harry Kane. Probably play just one and two, game week one and two, and I'll probably take him out because knowing Sun will be back from suspension in game week three versus Newcastle. So I'm making the most of it. If I can't have Harry Kane, I'll have Lucas Moura. Cabellos, Sabellos, however you pronounce his name, I heard it, I thought he was going to play um, a CDM role, but it sounds like. Um, it could be a cam role, centre attacking midfielder, up there attacking just behind the striker with the wingers on each side. I like that. If he is playing that, which it sounds like it could be, he's in. He's definitely in then. And with a cheap budget price of, is it 5.5? I'll tell you something, if he's playing cam and he's a 5.5, regular start for Arsenal, he's in. Up front, I've gone for Che Adams. Southampton's new side has been playing pretty well in um, friendlies for Southampton. Playing Burnley away, who are quite leaky at the back of it. Now that Tom Heaton has gone as well, so Pope will be the number one keeper. Now, Pope's a very good goalkeeper, but Che Adams, I'm, I'm betting him to, you know, score against Burnley. And I've also got Callum Wilson as well. I can't downgrade him to Josh King. Callum Wilson, much, much better. And I just think this team here could be the team that 
could be starting for game week one for, for me. It's it's quite difficult to see if that is going to be the team. I still see another one, two, two or three changes, mostly two changes in that team that I might make. But if you look at the Sterlings, the Sellers, the Trents, or Zinchenko, I, most of the Sellers, Sterlings definitely stay on my team. There's no way I'm taking them out or downgrading. There's no way. There's no way I'm getting rid of the big hitters and FPL who pick up the big points. There's no way. So that will be probably my team. Probably probably nine of them. Eight and nine in that you can see right there. Probably confirmed uh, to play game week one for my team. So who knows. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy this video. Please, please, please gives this a uh, thumbs up you don't have to but please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video uh really do appreciate it. and please subscribe we uh, do appreciate it as well and help me get to 100 subscribers we do appreciate that and um please share please share the video on twitter facebook all over the world and i shall see you guys in the next video bye bye